Hello everybody and welcome to our first of six devotionals leading up to the Easter weekend. I trust that these devotional snippets or nuggets, if you may, will add value to our appreciation for a God who loves us and gave himself up for us. Now, starting on Palm Sunday with Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem, the week leading into Easter Sunday is known as the Holy Week or the Passion Week. Now, two big holidays. Did I say holidays? I got your attention right. Now, two big holidays in the Christian calendar are Good Friday and Easter Sunday. And this is when Christians all over the world, regardless of their denomination affiliation, not only commemorates the death of Jesus Christ on the cross, but also celebrates the resurrected Christ. Now, for today's devotional thought, I would like us to think of how God is never too late or too early, but has made all things beautiful in His time. So please join me as we together turn our attention to a portion of Scripture that talks about time, especially in relation to the coming of the Messiah. Galatians 4, verse 4 to 6, and I read, But when the set time had fully come, God sent His Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those under the law that we might receive the adoption to sonship. Now, because you are His sons and daughters, of course, God has sent His Spirit of His Son into our hearts and the Spirit who calls out Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but God's child. God's child. And since you are His child, God has made us also an heir. See, friends, Scripture tells us that Jesus' coming and also His death on the cross was not a last-minute attempt by God to save the world from sin and death. No, no, no. On the contrary, it was something God planned and put into motion ages ago. And it was only when the fullness of time had come, or at the appointed time, that God sent His Son into this world. John chapter 13 and verse 1 reinforces that idea of God's timetable. When Jesus, when Jesus washed His disciples' feet, as a result of his awareness that his hour or time has come to leave this world, that is, to die on the cross. Now, knowing that his hour or time has come, he began to show how far reaching his love was for his disciples. Now, certainly, God has made all things beautiful in his time. So, my brothers and sisters in Christ, let us appreciate our God who has everything under control and that he is never too late or early, but in his time he has and will make all things work together for the good of us all who love him and who are called according to his purposes. Now in this Holy or Passion Week, let us be thankful to God for sending us two blessings as seen in Galatians chapter 4, verse 4 and 6. First, His Son, Jesus Christ, to die in our place and for our sins. And the second blessing is this, for sending His Holy Spirit into our hearts. With that, we are now no longer slaves to sin, but sons and daughters of God, and we cry out, Abba, Father. Indeed, as time is concerned, as far as time is concerned, He has set eternity in our hearts. So tune in for the remaining five devotional thoughts and also join us on site for our Good Friday and Easter services. God bless you, my fellow Agapians.